Hello friends, and uh, welcome back to Keefe's Kitchen. This week is a good week. Do you know why? You know why this week is a good week? I'll let you think. Because I'm making breakfast. I'm making quiche. All right, how many, just off the top of your head, again, I'll give you a moment to think, how many foods can you think of that starts with Q? Yeah, that's what I thought, not many. Quiche is one of the lucky few. So we're gonna be making a delicious ham and cheese and green onion quiche. I'm excited, hopefully you're excited. Let's make some quiche. All right, to begin, just like our pot pie recipe, uh, we're gonna use a pre-made pie crust. This is one, again, I picked up from Harris Teeter. Just pull one of the pre-packaged pie crusts out and let it uh, come to room temperature while your oven preheats to 375 and this pie dish is the same one from that other recipe and uh, we're going to use it to blind bake our pie crust. Now I made a mistake, I didn't blind bake it for long enough um, as you'll find out eventually um, but uh, yeah it's all good. So you're going to take that, uh, that pie crust, fit it to the form of your pie dish and poke some holes in the bottom and this will allow the steam to escape and it'll keep it from bubbling up quite as much as you bake it and get it nice and crispy so that you can put in the liquid quiche filling. Now uh, I should have baked mine for about 10 minutes longer than I did. I was being a little conservative, I was a little scared. Uh, but you know what? Que sera, sera. So I placed the uh, parchment paper in there and grabbed some uncooked navy beans. Right, these are going to act as pie weights because I didn't have enough regular pie weights to weigh this down and uh, you're just going to put about two cups of these uncooked beans of any variety in there on top of that parchment paper and that weighs down the uh, pie dough and keeps it from bubbling up and inflating while it cooks. So we're going to pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes with the pie weights inside the beans and then uh, after that 15 minutes is up we will take the pie out of the oven, or just, I guess it's just the crust, um, the husk of a pie, and uh, we'll pour off the pie weight beans, and we'll pop the crust back in the oven for another, eh. Well, I, again, I should have done longer than I did. Um, I would say probably about 10, yeah, about 10, 12 minutes after that. Keep an eye on it. You want it to get nice and golden brown, but not too dark. So uh, anyway, again, it's back in the oven at 375 for about 10 minutes more. While that's baking, uh, we are going to prepare our quiche filling. So this is a bowl, and this is one cup of half and half. All right, you could use half a cup of uh, milk and heavy cream, but half and half works. And then this is four eggs. All right, so four eggs and one cup of half and half. And then I have a half teaspoon each of salt and pepper. You can adjust that to your taste, but I found that worked out really nice. Give that a nice whisk. We're going to whisk this together until it's fully incorporated, as you can see. And now we're going to add in our dry fillings. Now I have here some green onion. This is about a half cup of fresh chopped green onion. This is about a cup and a half of chopped ham. Um, and this is two cups of shredded cheddar. It's a lot of cheese. All right. Whisk to combine and set to the side. And uh, now it's time to fill up our pie. All right, so here's that sad, poor, under blind baked pie crust. It's okay, you know? Turned out all right in the end. And uh, pour your quiche mix right on top. It doesn't have to be fully cool. You can let it cool for just a couple minutes if you'd like. Um, and yeah, pop that right into the oven. And we're going to bake it at a reduced temperature, right, we're going to drop the temperature to 350 degrees and bake it for about 45 minutes. And as you can see, after 45 minutes, it's looking mighty nice, all right, in my opinion. And we're going to give it a nice little shake. You'll see it jiggles just a little bit in the middle, but it's firm on the outside, and that's what you want. You don't want it to get all dry and hard and gross. Let the quiche stand for about 15 minutes, and then you're ready to go. All right, my friends, the quiche is done. Here it is. I'm gonna let it focus on the quiche. 
Now it is just set right there. If you wanted, you could let it go a little bit longer. I actually like this. It's completely done, okay? As you can see, um, it's not running. I'm able to pick the tip of it, which is in the center of the quiche up with my fork after letting it sit for about 15 minutes to rest. I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna start tasting. Here we go. It's really good. I have, I have one complaint. The, uh, the bottom of the pie crust isn't done completely. It's edible, for sure, but I, I didn't blind bake it long enough, which is upsetting. So, the flavor of the quiche itself is amazing. I'm gonna take a second bite and do another, another opinion. I mean, the flavor of the quiche itself is amazing. The, the crust on the bottom, however, subpar. I'm a little sad about it, to be honest. But, you know what? We learn from our mistakes around here. Next time, I won't be so conservative with my blind baking, and I'll do it right. And you know what, I make mistakes so that you don't have to. So go out, make your own quiche, blind bake it properly, or buy one of those like pre-baked pie shell things. That's fine too. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. We had our ups, we had our downs. Now it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.